So welcome back to another Gibbs adventure and today we're gonna redo the hardwood floors in the log house. They've been totally destroyed. We're gonna start upstairs. I wonder if the people who live here are watching. <laughs> I, I hope they do. So I spent yesterday prepping the room here. We just brought in the sander to start to test it but there's all kinds of gum and shit on the floor and I believe that's uh, some of the red stuff and whatnot is uh, is uh, nail polish I think I'm not really sure anyways so we're in the process we're gonna sand it all down and fix her up this is a actually pine so it's a pretty soft floor it shouldn't take too long to get done up but uh, we'll see where we're at but I spent yesterday doing my best to scrape all the gum the patches off the floor and clean it up my nephew Chris is a carpenter he's gonna give me a hand here for for a bit here to try to get these things up so we got the uh, orbital sander ready to go here in the grid paper the uh, still prepping this room a little bit but just to kind of give you an idea how how badly the floors have been damaged closet and doors are gone it's just crazy, driving me nuts. But, we'll put it all back together. You can see there's almost, when you look at it, there's all kinds of stuff on the floor. Like, I, I don't really understand how some people live. Trying some 20 grit now. Oh, yeah. Better? I got some. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that just took a lot of that. That was almost like that, right? Okay. So, so don't stay in one place too long. No. Oh, fuck it. It's such a big surface, too, right? And you're constantly moving. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to work. Okay. These are what? Two by six foot? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of thickness to them. That's what Dad said that you had all two by six. Are they tongue and groove? Or? Yeah, yeah, they're tongue and groove. Oh, yeah. So that's an edging tool that we use to do the edges.
Lots of dust. Look at where dust map. You can see all the dust inside here. Looking a lot better. That's the first pass with the 36 grid paper. So two more passes before I start to put the stain down. So the last of the bedrooms upstairs to get done. Just to show you what we're up against. They got paint and stickers and gouges all over the place we're trying to fix so just kind of show you before we hit it with the the sanding machine just to show you what kind of what we're up against I do know that this stuff comes out but it just takes a lot of sanding so here we go second day in paradise Well, looks a lot better than when we started this morning, eh, Chris? Oh, yeah, sure. It's coming. There's still a... It's coming like a herd of turtles. Yeah, there's still a little bit of paint or something in there, eh? All right. All the edging's done here now, so... We'll sand it with the 120, and then we'll be ready to paint. Or put down the coating so I'm gonna clean up in front of the where the fridge was just to see how it goes with just with the edger see if I can kind of clean that up a little bit so looks a lot better than what it did so it just takes so damn long to do everything I'll sand that a bit more but it's coming. Just amazing how people can let stuff get damaged. So, heck of a lot better than this morning. Just goes to show you what a lot of sanding can do for you. Strip off all the old finish and start with the new. Well, first coat. So let that dry. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's a water based uh, thing, and I'll put three coats on it. Too. Seal it up good. So, this room's next. This was the girls' room, and this was our boys' room. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do this one right away. So, I'm using a Verithane uh, water based uh, paint. It floats on, and I'll give it three coats to seal it right. So, this is the boys' room with one coat of stain down. You can see the difference. And this is the, uh, the girls' room with one coat of stain down. So, looking a lot better. I can tell you, personally, after seeing the way the floor was when I started and to see it now, it's, it's almost a miracle. But coming back together, one room at a time, one one floor, lots of hours of sanding in here, but we're getting her done.
So, just about to start the main room here. Just to give you some idea of the damage. Those are all gouges. There's fucking nail polish on the floor. It's just lots of that's lots of extra work when uh, people don't uh, respect things. I mean, uh, it's hardwood floors, they're not indestructible. It's not like you're, uh, anyways, it is what it is and we're gonna fix it. So, day three of sanding, I guess. Here we go. That's the product I'm using and I'm just starting to lay it out here on the floor. So we'll see how it goes. Kind of goes on like a liquid. So just a quick update on our progress, got the first set of stairs done, sanded pretty almost, and the landing, just to kind of show you a comparison to what it, these ones still have to be done, but uh, you'll see a heck of a difference once I uh, get it all sanded and stained again. This floor is... Uh, All had its first coat. The bedrooms here have had two coats. I'll put at least three coats down before I'm done. But uh, you can see quite a bit of difference. Starting to look pretty good. A lot of work. So this one had one coat. Be the first place I start today. Get the second coat done. And just keep plugging away and working at it. Um, See how it goes. So, just open the line here. So, working away at her. It's starting to look pretty good. I'm happy with the results. Had to be done. It's looking good. Carry on. Makes a bit of dust, eh, Jeremy? Yeah, that's So, the stairs are just about all prepped. There's just a little bit of sanding to do on the one level. All the upstairs is done now with three coats. So, just have to let it dry. But uh, there's basically three coats on everything. So we've got some shine back in her. She's looking good. I was hoping to get a little bit more done, but I'm happy with the progress that I got. So I have to go back to work for a week. And then uh, I'll be back at her. So step by step, it's coming together. Be a little while yet, but I still have a to do all the floors down here. But at least uh, got the upstairs floors done, which looks a lot better. And the stairs are all basically prepped and ready to go. So step by step fixing her, and we'll see what it looks like when it's all done. <laughs> 